Back in Washington, President Biden said today the U.S. is working with Israeli officials to get more information about the 11 Americans who were killed and the many more still accounted for. CBS's Nancy Cordes has new details tonight from the White House. President Biden huddled with his national security team today and spoke with European allies, looking for ways to head off a wider conflict. This is not a moment for any party hostile to Israel to exploit these attacks to seek advantage. The Pentagon has already begun airlifting U.S. weapons and munitions to the Israelis. And a carrier strike group, six U.S. ships plus jets, has nearly reached the eastern Mediterranean. Its goal is to serve as a deterrent to attacks by Hezbollah or Iran. The U.S. Army Secretary warned today that the Pentagon will require more funding to fully supply both Israel and Ukraine. We need additional support from Congress, so I hope we'll see that soon. But that's not possible right now because the House is still without a speaker after Kevin McCarthy was voted out last week. Today, McCarthy joined other Republicans blaming Mr. Biden for Iran's role in the Hamas attacks. The U.S. arranged a prisoner swap with Iran last month that freed up $6 billion in Iranian oil money. They are wealthier, richer and stronger under this Biden administration. Accusations like that drew fierce pushback from White House officials. This money was always earmarked only for humanitarian purposes. It doesn't go to the Iranian regime. It goes through approved vendors right to the Iranian people, who we have no beef with. She was full of life. Brandeis University professor Elon Troen says his daughter, Deborah, was among the Americans who lost their lives this weekend. She lived with her family on a kibbutz near the Gaza border. She could only say to us that um, I hear glass breaking and voices in Arabic and the shooting. Troen says he was on the phone with his daughter when she and her husband were killed and her 16-year-old son shot. It was she who saved his life by design, falling on him, and the bullet that reached his abdomen came through her. With Americans feared to be among the hostages as well, President Biden is directing U.S. officials to share intelligence and deploy experts to advise Israel on hostage recovery. And those U.S. warships in the eastern Mediterranean can be used to launch hostage recovery missions as well, Nora. Nancy Cordes from the White House, thank you.